Welcome to part 6 of this series, trying to look at the sons of Noah and where they really went to. Now in this video we're going to be looking at another son of Aram, and we're going to be looking at Uz. In the first video we looked at Misha. Now the reason why we're doing another son of Aram is because I want to explain why I think the land of Aram is more this region. Uh, in the first video we were looking for an, an, Aramean, an Aramean sorry, kingdom in this region. So why are we saying that a ram was here? That's what we're doing in this video. Let's first look to see what um, the book of Jubilee says about the land of Aram. It says, And for Aram there came forth the fourth portion, all the land of Mesopotamia, between the Tigris and the Euphrates. Now we've been speaking about these two rivers, but let's see what this word Mesopotamia means. It says here, Aram between the two rivers. Okay. Aram son of Shem from the word Aram Nearim so before it was known as Mesopotamia it was known as Aram Nearim which means Aram between the two rivers so speaking of the land of Aram now it says you're north of the Chaldees now we spoke about that in the last video so we got a better idea about the Chaldees to the border of the mountains of Ashur now I'm still not sure what they mean by the mountains of Ashur still need to try uh, understand what they mean by that and the land of Arara Arara so this is connected to Ararat where the Noah's not Noah's Ark landed if we look at the Bible verses for that um, got some Bible verses maybe one Bible verse it says here Genesis 8 4 the ship rested in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month on Ararat's mountains so we'll look at that towards the end. Let's just first look to see what Josephus says. Um, now we spoke about the Messanians, uh, which is Misa, and we'll look at the Bactrians, Gata, Gata and the Bactrians later in the series. Um, all founded on Menia, we're going to speak about that. But the son Uz of Aram, he founded Trachonitis and Damascus. And uh, we're not going to speak about Trachonitis in this video, we're going to focus on Damascus. So let's just see what we can see about Damascus. Now, this is just speaking about the, the names of Damascus in different languages. But we can see the etymology, uh, one of it is TMSQ. And another one is going to be with a D, okay, so DMSQ. You know, being the letters and um, without the vowels. So now, we've got a few options for this. I want to show you, if we think about this uh, Damisak, that's how you maybe pronounce that, Damisak. We can see here, um, Damisak, Damisak. There's an option in Nigeria that some scholars have found is um, Nigeria Borno, Damisak. So could this be connected to the uh, Damascus? If I show you where this region is, okay, so it's in this region in uh, northeastern Nigeria, in this Borno Yobe region. And you see there, if we, went, if we go back, that there's actually um, two regions for this, maybe showing that it was quite a big, powerful kingdom. Well, it was a powerful kingdom. It's a very famous ancient city. And let me show you. So we're looking at these two provinces. And we've got Lake Chad here. Just so if you're not familiar with the geography, we're looking at um, Nigeria, Niger, and Chad. And we're looking at this region here. So it's, on the, it's near the border of Chad and also the border of Nigeria, uh, Niger. Sorry. Now, it says here for Damascus, um, it, mean, it may mean a well-watered land. So that might make sense with it being in this region. Um, near Lake Chad, you know, making it a very well watered land. But I just wanted to show you another option for what I was looking at because if we see here this variation here with the T, uh, Tamasak, I saw this option here, um, Tamaske, Niger, Tahua region. So this is spelled with a T. So that's, this is another option. Similar area, let me show you this region. Okay, it's highlighted here. 
it might be easier if I show you on this map where we're looking. So it's going to be in this region here. So we've got this one um, possible option here for Damisak, Nigeria, but also potentially another option here, uh, Tamaske, Tamaske, which is quite similar to this. If we look at this um, this option here, Tamaske, the Egyptian um, etymology. Just to show you that there's actually a few um, possibilities for this very famous um, city and kingdom in the ancient world. And Damascus is very important. You can see there's so much history here. We're not going to read it, but there's so much history that's happened here. So it's very important for us to try and know where this region was as we go forward in the series and look at the start looking at this history. Now, the next thing we want to look at is um, this Armenia because the land of um, Ararat is in the land of Armenia but there's a little bit of uh, confusion about this I just want to show you it says here that the land of Armenia gets its name from um, this figure known as Hayek so it's kind of this legendary figure that they say the name um, of Armenia gets its name. Let me first show you where Armenia is, just in case you're not familiar with the geography. So it's quite small here, but it's highlighted here. So this is Turkey, and this is Armenia. So this is where we're told that Noah's Ark landed. Remember we read that Bible verse saying that Noah's Ark landed on the mountains of Ararat, and there was that claim that they found the mountains of, uh, they found that Noah's Ark in the region of Turkey but we weren't sure if that was a hoax or what but they're saying here that there was this uh, this legendary figure called Hayek and that the name Armenia comes from this um, this figure and it says here that he defeated the Babylonian king Bel but uh, I, did some, I did find something interesting I saw when I was looking at this river this Atbara river in the Nile this Nile River. I saw down here, look, uh, Tana Hayek, this Lake Hayek. I was wondering if that could be connected to this this thing we're reading about, this legendary founder of Armenia. Okay. But uh, I'm not sure if it is connected or not, but I was wondering. Because remember how we did, we were looking for an, um, an Aramean kingdom in this region, and they're saying that Hayek is the founder of um, Armenia. So you can hear the similarities of this word Aram, um, Armenia, Arame um, Aramean. I think this is where this confusion is coming in. I think it says a bit further down about this confusion. You see, is it derived from Aram? You know, the Aram of Shem? Or is it from an Aram of um, Hayek? Because they're saying that there was a descendant of Aram in the line of Hayek. So where is it coming from? Is it coming from um, this line of Hayek? Or is it coming from the, land of Sh uh, the line of Shem? Which is what we're speaking of. Because you know, it does say down here that um, in Josephus it says that Ul founded Armenia. See that? So this is the son of Aram. But now this legendary, this legend is saying that Armenia is derived from the Saram of Hayek, so it's a little bit confusing um, to know exactly, you know, what's the true story here. But for, just to get the basic idea, I think is that this region of Armenia, this this word seems to be derived, I think, from Aram and um, Aramea or an Aramean. You see how look here? It has these. Um, some scholars have linked it to um, Armani or Arme. It just seems to me that to be um, linking it to Aram. So that's um, Armenia. So this is obviously another one of those things where you have to try decide for yourself. Where we look in, in the series, we're looking at things that are a little bit different from the consensus, and we, we've already possibly found we're looking in this region for an Armenian kingdom here.
and we see how the picture is starting to change a little bit just by looking at that, you know, that first video. But now let's have a look to see about um, Ararat because the, the Book of Jubilees is saying that the land of Ararat or Arara is in the land of Aram and uh, let's see what we can find about that because we actually need to look at this kingdom known as Uraratu it's this kingdom known as Uraratu and this is where that word Ararat comes from and it says it's an Iron Age kingdom um, known as the kingdom of Van because um, it's centered around Lake Van in the Armenian highlands but where are these Armenian highlands that's what we you know we're trying to find out and this is confusion with Aram and Armenia but if you can find the kingdom of Uraratu that's going to help you find the kingdom of Ararat and where the Noah's Ark landed so I just want to show you this option that I found because the capital of Uraratu was known as um, Tushpa or Tuspa and I saw on this map we do have this potential option here of Tuspa could that be the capital of Uraratu? Can you see how that would then make this um, an Aramean land? Because then you've got Tuspa, which is the capital of Uraratu, Uraratu, and Uraratu is supposed to be in the land of Armenia, or the land of Aram, is what, we, what we're thinking. Can you see how it's starting to kind of, the picture is starting to get a bit stronger because we've got, you know, at the start of the video, if we do a recap, we were looking for Damascus, and we had this option of Dam uh, Damasak, Nigeria. If we look at the map, it's in this region here. So that would be an Aramean kingdom. Okay, so, so roughly we'll say it's in this region here, Dam uh, Damasak. And then very close we have Tuspa, which could be this um, capital city of Uraratu, which then would, this, would make this also the land of Uraratu or the land of, let's say, um, Aram, instead of Armenia. So you see how this is getting quite confusing with this Armenia and this Aram and the Arameans. But then this potentially could be the region that you'd be looking for Noah's Ark, if this is actually Uraratu. So very fascinating. And I think the um, I think the Assyrians referred to this, let me just look, bit, it's got this I don't want to say it wrong if it's the Assyrians refer to it in a different way. Oh yeah, look, it says yeah, um, Urara tree is how the Assyrians refer to it, and I think that meant like um, the eight lands of Uraratu or Urara tree. So it may have actually been a very wide range of territory, a large area, this land of Uraratu. So I hope you enjoyed this video on um, Aram. I think we can see now. Hopefully that answers what I said we're going to look at, why I was looking in this region for the land of Aram. And now we have those options of um, Damisak, and we've also got the potential of this kingdom of Uraratu with uh, Tuspa. But the further we go on in the series, the more these things will become more clear, and the more we study, we can make the picture stronger. And we need to look at some of these areas like Damisak and see what else we can find to strengthen that idea for this being um, Damascus. But until the next video, we're going to look at Lud, son of Shem, our last son for Shem, before we go on to the sons of Ham. So until that next video, see you in the next one.